Hi, Robert. Hi, Arely. Hi, Astrid. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. All right. Very good. Robert, Hi. are you a father? No? Oh, yes. No, yet. Okay. <laughs> Pues no puedo decirle feliz día. <laughs> In the future. All right, very good. Areli and Nasir, how was your day today? It was fine, thanks. Fine, yeah. All right. Okay. Really busy. Busy? Yep. Yeah. Eh? Sometimes I feel like the day goes out flying like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we have so many things to do that. It just flies out. All right. I'm sorry. I just sent the, the presentation that we're about to use. To be honest, I forgot to send it earlier because I had it since the morning and I just forgot. I'm sorry, but you have it already. We are not going to do any type of listening today. So that's, I mean, it's just about reading and talking with your um, classmates. Okay. So guys, we have it here. This is the one that we're going to be working with today. So here, this is where it begins. Who else is with us already? All right, hi, Brenda. Teacher, I have a question uh, yes, before, to, before to start. Before I, start. Uh -huh. I have some doubts about the platform in, okay. the, in the reading section, but I don't know if, if Jonathan or which is the, the, being encargado to help. The, the, the person in charge mm -hmm. what yes. is the what is the problem that you face Astrid? for example in the numbers five you have to to write the 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 answer uh -huh. but in this in the 5.1 you have to write three in five two point you have to write four choice but okay. Always, I have wrong. I, I don't know how. All right. So it's yeah. the reading section. In the reading section, yes. Yeah. All right. And um, the question. Do you remember? Well, is a is a passage about seraphic and phytophic plants. Okay. All right. Okay. So you know what, Astrid? Um, in the morning tomorrow, let me okay. let me check it, and I will. I will um, send your, I mean, send you the possible choices or tell you that the problem was fixed, all right? So let me, because I don't remember right now and I don't have access to it right now. Okay. So okay. if you want, like, let's say like about 10 or 11, uh, you may text me just to remind me if, you ha if I haven't sent it to you, all right? Or to the group. Okay. All right, okay. so it's the yeah. reading. I'm going to check that tomorrow, okay? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. And the speaking, uh -huh. and the speaking practice. Okay. In the number one, for Let's example, uh -huh. for example, the question is mention overall skill that you improve uh, in the top score. This yeah. this is in, in the in the first and the second video in the platform. Yeah. But you write it. Uh -huh. uh, and it doesn't take know. it. Uh huh, and I don't know because sometimes you have to put a period. Uh, right, yeah, no, you don't. Right. Uh huh, and okay. My, my, so my. let me let me check that also. Okay, I see that's okay. So thank you for for letting me know, and I'll, I'm gonna look at it in the morning. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thank you so much. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So uh, hi, my Freddy. I didn't see you coming in. Hi, Manuel, and hi, Maribel. All right, Freddy, are you a dad or not? Are you a father? No, no father yet, Freddy? No, not yet. Okay, right. <laughs> and Manuel, are you a father or not yet? No, yet. Ah, okay, so no fathers in the group. All right, that's okay. All right, so Maribel, hello. I am, I am a father teacher. Yeah, yes, <laughs> a father and a mother. So happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> all right very good okay so it's nice to have you maribel very good in class all right guys so uh, just give me one second please guys just give me one quick second all right sorry guys uh, i'm back okay so i was actually apologizing because I sent the uh, PPT very, very late. 
but to be honest today i forgot because i had it since the morning so but i'm bad all right but anyway we're not gonna do listenings today so it's not it shouldn't take you like so much to download the, the ppt so guys as i said uh, on monday there are some features or some things that you need to take into account all right when you do your uh, speaking activities or to improve your speaking we were talking about pronunciation the past couple of days and within pronunciation we saw some features all right now we're not going to talk about pronunciation but we're going to talk about cohesion all right which is very important for all like for you to like improve on your speaking skill all right so when we talk about cohesion we can see some features as well all right which are these ones all right freddy can you read them please yes okay cohesion organizing ideas using transitional expression defining unknown terms using parallel structure rephrasing or replacing keywords using consistent consistent tense, mm -hmm. consistent tense, person and number excellent very good so these features are within cohesion all right now when we're gonna see what cohesion means but before we see that as freddy was reading there are it talks about organizing your ideas it talks about using transitional expressions all right we also talk about defining unknown terms using parallel structures rephrasing or replacing keywords and i think most important of everything is using cons uh, consistent tense so i said like if you're speaking in the past everything should be in the past if you're speaking in the present tense everything should be in the present tense or so on when you talk about right so you need to keep focus on the person you're talking about a number all right so when i say number is when we say for example he i don't know he go you don't say he go he you say he goes all right so he the person and the number is a singular or is a plural so we need to take all those things into account that we know but sometimes when we are being timed and we are under pressure we kind of forget and we mix things uh, for example you never say she don't you all you know that you're supposed to say she doesn't but because you get nervous then you say she don't and you're like oh no what did i say all right so those things happen <laughs> because we're not perfect all right uh, plus we're under pressure so that makes it that makes us sometimes a little bit nervous all right so we need to take these things into like account and into consideration make sure that you organize your ideas all right you don't have time to really make a ma like a ma but you know sometimes and this is something that we as salvadorians do we've been around the bush all right it's like we we're not really like to the point and we should be because english speakers they go to the point all the time all right so sometimes they're like okay what do you want to say all right okay so what's your point behind this all right so you need to go straight to the point and to like for you to do that you need to be organized and to organize your ideas cohesion maribel can you start reading please cohesion refers to cohesion refers to how well the ideas in your spoken response fit together you will sound more fluent and get a higher score on the speaking test if your responses are cohesive mm -hmm. you can achieve Cohesion, cohesion by, by cohesion cohesion by using the techniques described in this section very good organizing mm -hmm. ideas yes. please yes go ahead uh -huh. ideas your your list your listeners will understand your talk better if you organize what you what you say in a logical sequence or or li linear linear pattern in a pattern this means that you tell the list the listeners what you are going to talk about and then go through the points you want to make the most common pattern of organization is outlined below mm -hmm. introductory statement yes. point one point two point three concluding statement 
An example of this pattern is shown below. Uh, breeding butterflies has many advantages for the collector. Way of obtaining specimens, specimens, uh -huh. specimens can be released into the wild, helps survival because butterflies have been protected from natural pre predators. Predators, uh-huh. Predators. The experience is, is a learning experience for the collector and a ben, ben, benefit to the species. Species. All right. Now, this sounds very, thank you, Maribel. Very well reading. Uh, this sounds very, very like nice and it seems, it looks nice because it's written on paper. Now, remember that we, that we, we were, that were we working were together working. last course, you have a minute. All right, or a minute and a half or 30 seconds or 40 seconds to prepare your answer. So you're going to probably think you're probably thinking, okay, but that's almost impossible. All right, like to come up with an introductory statement, point one, point two, point three, or just two points and then a conclusion. That's what we need to get to. All right, and that is why you're taking this. Um, Top of preparation course to give you an idea of things that you should do, all right? These may seem impossible, but if you practice, you can actually get to that, all right? Perhaps not as well written as it is here, but then you keep it in your mind and say, okay, so they're talking about, I don't know, butterflies, so what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say that they, about where they live, about how they can be collected and about, I don't know, how, they can be protected as well, all right? And then you conclude somehow, right, on, the, on what you're going to be saying. So as I said, it seems easy, but it's not easy, but it's there for you to practice. The idea is to give you an idea of what to do, all right? Then we have using transitional expressions. Manuel, can you read, please? Okay. Using traditional expression. Mm -hmm. Connecting idea by using transition word and phrases tell you listening the relationship of the idea to the next. You can signal to your listening that you are going to put event events in a, event in a sequence of information or make a comparison. You can you can signal that you want to emphasize. Emphasize, emphasize. Emphasize, thank you. Or clarify a point using transition work. And okay. phrases help you listener, listener follow the flow of your idea with the following example without traditional expression. Transitional, expression. transitional expressions. Mm -hmm. so. Transitional expression. In my physics class, we did a lot, lot of ex experiment, experiments that experiments that help in clarify scientific principles and understood two principles better by doing these experiments. Okay. This sentence will fall better if the speaker used transitional expression as in the following example. In my physical class, we do a lot of experiments that help clarify scientific, scientific, scientific. scientific principle as a result. I understand that principle Principles better. All right. Thank you, Manuel. All right. So in this, uh, you know what transitional words can be, all right? So for example, here they are giving you one as a result, all right? So sometimes it's good for us to use these transitional expressions to better, so they flow better, all right? So in the case that you're wondering what are transitional expressions, now that, I mean, the internet has it all for you guys, all right? So transitional expressions, you just type them in and you will find many of them, all right? So in sure. this case, yes, Manuel? 
But when do you use a transitional expression for the thesis flow? You need to uh, meet a lot of work because it's the same in Spanish. In Spanish, when you try to the synthesis flow, yeah. you need, uh, uh, need a lot of work because you try to combine the, the, to the combine? last letter. Yeah. Right. Yes, you're right, Manuel. All right. So the idea is for you to like, I don't know, if you can actually have like a list of transitional expressions and to know like the meaning or when to use them and everything, it also help you a lot. All right. Let's see here. Uh, defining unknown terms. Um, Brenda, can you read that for us, please? Yes. Defining unknown terms. In order to help your listeners understand, you may need to define a term that you use in your response. Read the following example. My hobby is telemark skin. If the speaker does, does not define the term and listeners do not know what telemark, telemark skin is, they might not understand the rest of the passage. Sometimes listener can guess the meaning through the context of the passage, but sometimes they cannot. Here is the definition the speaker gave of telemark skin. That means skin using telemark skis. Even though the speaker defined telemark skin, listeners still may not understand what it means because the speaker defined the term with the same word. To effectively define the word, use a three-part definition. Number one, state the word or phrase to be defined. Number two, gave the category that the word or phrase fits into. Number three, tell how the word is different from other words that fit the same category. Um, category. category. Read this example of an effective definition. Telemark is a type of alpine skin in which the boots are connected to the skis only at the toes. So traditional skin techniques have to be modified. All right. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Very well reading. All right. So here, if you saw the first example or the first sentence, it says, my hobby is telemark skin. Okay. So if you don't know what that is, you're lost as I was. All right. And then you see the second sentence, it says, that means skin using telemark skis. It's the same thing. I mean, you're not really telling me like much of a difference. You're like, I'm still lost, all right? Now, if I read the third one, it says telemark is a type of alpine skin in which the boots are connected to the skis only at the toes. So traditional skin techniques have to be modified. Now I understand, all right? So you need to like define unknown terms all right in a way that everybody understands don't think just because you know everybody will know what you mean so you have to keep that in mind all right especially if you do something that is not so common for example or you're going to talk about because remember that on top of sometimes you have a speaking tasks that you can choose your own topic in a way all right so let's say that i'm what that's my hobby telemark skiing but knows what that is so they're gonna be lost all right so you need to like understand or make sure that you know how to explain something that is not so obvious for the, your audience it might be obvious for you but not for the rest of them okay so keep that in mind all the time using parallel structures uh let me see here um Arely, can you read it for us please okay sure uh, using parallel structure, your listener can understand the flow of your ideas better if you use parallel structure when you speak. Read the following incorrect example. My teacher gave interesting assignment and motivating the student. The listener may be confused because the speaker has mixed different grammatical instruction. Does the speaker mean my teacher gave interesting and motivating assignment to the student? And this sentence is, 
interest, interesting and motivating are parallel objectives. Or does the speaker mean my teacher gave gave interesting assignment and motivate a student? And these sentences gave and motivate are parallel verb. All right, very good. So here you need to make sure, guys, that you know what you're saying, all right? That you, like, that your point needs to get across the way you want it to get across. So you need to be careful with tenses and everything because if you keep on, if you mix and match, you're gonna, they're gonna be lost, okay? This one, uh, rephrasing or replacing keywords. Uh, let me see. Um, Saida, do you mind reading for us? Okay, teacher. Uh, rephrasing or replacing keywords. When a speaker keeps repeating words, a word or phrase, listener can get confused. Read the following example. My teacher wrote the assignment on the child work. The assignment was on the child work until the teacher arrives. The assignment after we had all done the assignment. All right. This is uh -huh. ideas will be clearly is the repeat words were replaced with other expression or with pronouns. Look at the way this example can be improved. My teacher were broke the assignment on the child work. Child she erased mm -hmm. the child work. She erased the word after we had all completed completed the test. The, the task. task. Mm -hmm. The word assignment has been replaced with task. The word teacher with she, and the word child work with word. With board. All right. So thank you, um, Saida. So you need to make sure, guys, that you have enough vocabulary can use different synonyms instead of repeating and repeating like yourself over and over again all right because one they can get confused second they can get bored because you keep on saying uh the teacher the teacher the teacher or the chalkboard the chalkboard the chalkboard or the assignment the assignment the assignment but there are so many other ways for you to say the same thing so it's a very good idea for you to know more vocabulary, more synonyms of one, I mean, of the words that you're using. Using consistent tense, person, and number. This is the last one. Robert, do you mind reading for us? Okay. Uh, but let me go ahead. From, from the beginning, am I right? Yes, please, yes. Using consistent tense, person, and number. Your listener can get confused if you are not consistent. Look at the following example. My teacher brought uh, five paper bags to school one day. He put us into groups and gave each group a bag. You have to take the objects out of the bags in turns and then a person has to tell a story involving the object from the bag. The listener may get confused by the change from the past tense to the present tense and the change from us to you, and then to a person. The listener might, uh, might also be confused by the change from the plural form objects and bags to the singular form object and bag. The listener could follow uh, these speaker ideas better if the speaker were consistent. Look at the way this example can be improved. One day, my teacher put us into five different groups. He gave each group a bag and told us to take turns pulling out an object and telling the other members of the group a story involving that object. All right. So could you tell the difference between the first uh, section here and the second one or the short passage? Was it confusing for you guys? Yes. Were you able to see the mistakes? For, for example, you say, he put us into groups. Okay, so what are you talking about, all right? So that's what, I'm, that's what I was saying, that you need to make sure that you speak in the tense that you're supposed to be speaking in, all right? And also mm -hmm. respecting singular and plural, like nouns and verbs and everything, and the person, all right? So those things, guys, they are all involved in cohesion. And I think it's like nice for us to remember that these are good um, 
like ideas or good keys or good clues for you to like improve on what you're talking about. Now, this, this is where the exercises begin. All right, so the first exercise, you talk about connecting ideas using transitional expressions. What I want you to do, I'm about to send you to your groups anyway, and you are gonna work on the rest of the class with this. Read instructions, they are right there. It says join the following ideas using transitional expressions. We're not gonna record your answers, but then evaluate your response as an example, as the example below. But the idea is for you to, um, if you're working with that, I'm working with her and then we kind of like discuss which transitional expression can we use here, all right? So in the first one, the example says you read, we had to hand in our essays on time, they wouldn't be marked. You should say we had to hand in our essays on time, otherwise they wouldn't be marked, okay? So otherwise is a transitional expression. So that's what you have to do uh, for number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Try to find a transitional expression that best suits uh, the ideas or the sentences that you're trying to connect. That's what you're supposed to do on that one. For exercise S8, it says defining words and phrases. Practice defining words by giving a three-part definition. So that can be fun because you're talking, I mean, you're working in a group, all right? You're not recording, guys. It says record there, but that's okay. You're just talking, all right? So I can tell Maribel, okay, Maribel, define childhood. And she has to tell me a three-part definition, only three to define what childhood is. The other one, Maribel says, okay, Jessica, so you define avalanche, all right? So I have to come up with that, that, that definition. And we're going to do that for three, four, five, and six, all right? Then we have exercise nine, all right? Connecting ideas by using parallel structures. Just read what it's expected from you uh, to work on or to do, all right? So just kind of read the examples and then the exercises are one, two, three, four. And the same thing with the rest, guys. The, uh, the uh, instructions are right there. They are given examples and then like um, number of exercises, three or four, all right? And that's pretty much what we're talking about cohesion here. So you have 11, 12, and that's about it, all right? So I think you're gonna have a finding consistencies that, that can be fun because you're, you're finding the mistakes there, all right? These are examples, and then you're supposed to find the inconsistencies in number one, two, four. All right, so just um, for you not to get lost, just read the instructions and then follow the instructions, see the example, and that's why you're working in, uh, like, uh, in, uh, in pairs, so like you guys help each other, all right? So you're ready? Right. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's see, all right, guys, there you go.
have the presentation, try to read and try to comprehension very well the presentation. Oh, okay. Okay, try to read and then I, when uh, when the teacher asks uh, any detail, I try to to uh, to respond. Yes. Since and as mean because. So that's the reason why I, I was trying to use since. Uh -huh. Hi, because the other one. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Hello? Hi, Robert. We're right now, well, right now we are at the number three. Okay. My teacher will uh, walk around the classroom and see how it works. Okay, and you were using since, since last. Okay. We're kind of lost with that one. Uh, we started using since, then we go to there for, <laughs> then we said, I don't know which one. <laughs> our teacher will walk around the classroom looking at our work. I guess since sounds good since we were busy on our individual project. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. What do you have for number one and number two? For number one. Number two, on the other hand. I enjoy doing photo figures by playing chess. Right, right, yeah. On the number one, let me go ahead and remember it. It was also since. Since you could explain? No. One of, you said something like uh, one of them is. Yes, it's one of them. One of those, no, one of those reasons was, All right, but we, I don't know if it's too complex. It would be a little bit complex, but it's okay. I mean, as long as it makes sense, it would be okay. okay. All right, very good. Okay, thank you. Let's go, let's go ahead with the number four. Uh, the rain poured down for several days. The river banks in my city overflow.
or rock uh, falling rapidly down? Maybe you are you are you are looking for the meaning. No, <laughs> <And> no. <the> <laughs> <victory. laughs> <laughs> Teacher, teacher thanks, thanks, thanks because you, you, I join us with, with Freddy because Freddy is my friend. Oh. <laughs> so, nice. so, so we have, we have, we have talking about the, that you read my, my mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mind reader now. Uh-huh. All right. How are you guys oh. doing? Okay, we are defining the, well, we finished the first word and the second. Childhood and avalanche. Yeah. And okay. So we are number three. Okay. Fiction. Hmm. Fiction. Well, I don't know what is loan, teacher. Loan? Loan. Uh, uh, when you borrow money, when you borrow some of money to the bank, for example. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And it's so, give it to you for a period of time. For example, because Jessica, can I loan your car or can you I loan your money, like a hundred dollars, for example? And I give it to you mm -hmm. and you say, okay, I'll pay you back in 10 days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fiction is something that is unreal. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be something that is uh, related with fantasy. Very good, Freddy. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Loan. 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 I don't know what it is. Borrow some money to the bank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah. You can say borrow money or an object because it's not only about money, right? You can say borrow... Um, a sum of money or object uh, oh, given yeah. to you by someone for a period of time. Oh, yeah, I understand. Right. Mm -hmm. So, give a, give a, give a friend, Prenda, how do you say Prenda? Give a friend to someone uh, <laughs> to give me, to give me some money. Right, can... yes. Uh-huh. Okay, accountant. <sighs> <laughs> it's all about my intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> An accountant, Maribel, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is the person that uh, that study all moments moments in a company? Money moments. I don't know, it's movimientos. Like I know that it's a... You can say bookkeeping? Someone bookkeeping. that, okay. yeah, someone that does the bookkeeping for a company. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bookkeeping for a company. Mm -hmm. Someone who registered, to register the, the movements of the company. The movements, related, yes. The related with the economy. Very good, yeah. I see, ¿verdad, Maribel? <laughs> es un charco. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. so Wells. Wells is a big fish in the in the sea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they live in the ocean, right? A big in mammal. Simple <laughs> in simple words, yes. Sometimes there are some uh, words that they are easier to define than others. And that's always going to happen. What is difficult is when you're asked to define a word that you have no idea what it is. Because, like loan? Yeah, like loan, right? Loan. You're like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That happens. Uh, teacher, I yes. have a question. In mm -hmm. this, in this, in defining words and phrases, I think we have to know about a synonym, synonyms too. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. For right. example, uh, synonyms of childhood. Mm -hmm. It will be, 
I don't know. <laughs> like early age, you can say early age on a person's life. Ah, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. early age. Okay. Next exercise. Connecting idea by using parallel structure. Then the following ideas using parallel structure. Yo pensé que no se iban a conectar mucho por el Día del Padre, pero veo que sí. <laughs> ya pasó la celebración. Yeah, <laughs> teacher, yeah. teacher, it is an important day. <laughs> It's the most important Mother's Day. I think so. I agree with you, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's a real, it's a real, real life. Yeah, it's real life. But in your case, Maribel, you have to celebrate Father's Day and Mother's Day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but, but my daughter uh, said me uh, congratulations, Mother, because you are my father. Right, of course. Uh -huh. so, so she always, she always uh, cooks me ah. uh, uh -huh, some, so, something because she likes to cook. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. nice, Manuel. You see? <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Keep on working. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank uh, you. We, we can apply for that kind of benefit here in El Salvador. Because be honest with you, I haven't heard about that. This is another uh, problem that we have here in El Salvador because so and sometimes we don't have the correct information and all the time all the people are trying to to provide the wrong information and then that's why we don't have those benefits yeah. many people that here in El Salvador they are intelligent but they don't have enough money to continue in order to study as something that they like for example if they like psychology or they like idiom sorry language language or languages or something like that yes this is a very good idea but where do you know the we don't that we have those benefits yes. you do you have an, a specific page or something like that mm, no I I get this loan for study my my master yes. on master on, on business administration because it is very very expensive and this the bank uh, authorize uh, you authorize all the all the months of career of your career. That's nice. Oh. Very good, Astri. Yep. Congratulations. It's a good idea because you you have the tranquility of the you have to pay until right. until you you finish you you study your career. Mm -hmm. Yep. So money wouldn't be a problem while you're studying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. But All the, right. The, the one the one the the unique problem is that when you finish your career you have to 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 obtain obtain a good uh -huh. job for right pay, so, <laughs> for pay so you can pay it back yeah, yeah of course yeah right yeah but i mean you worry at the end let's say you're not worrying while you're studying because that happens to many people they worry while they are studying because they don't have enough money to pay like every month let's say or every yes. fee mm -hmm. yes Right. All right, girls, we're going to go back because I have the other class to teach. I'm going to be sending the, um, the answers. They are possible answers. It's not saying that only the answers that I'm going to be sending are the right ones because um, answers may vary, right? So I'm like, at least you're going to have an idea of what pretty much they would look like, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. All right, guys, it's time to go. I have the other class. I was telling uh, Astrid and Arely that I'm going to be sending the answers for these exercises. They are not 
right or wrong answers. What I'm trying to say is whatever I send to you, they are possible answers, all right? Don't feel bad that you don't have the same word, for example, or the same definition as you came up with, because of course we are different. I mean, we think differently, but the idea is for you to have an idea of what they might look like, all right? So thank you so much, guys, for being with us tonight, even though it was Father's Day and you were probably celebrating somehow. But I appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're gonna uh, talk a little bit about fluency and everything and we will finish up with the uh, speaking section. And then I'm gonna look on the, um, Astrid or Arely, who was telling me about the problems you were having? Anyway, I'm gonna look on that tomorrow morning. So, so yeah. So I'm gonna um, help you out with that, all right? So thank you so much, guys. I'll thank see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.